Orlando's hometown cable network and motion picture studio is getting ready to launch a new kid show bonanza. Nickelodeon has come up with a game show that comes with a video twist, one that puts kids right inside, kind of Super Mario Brothers style. Production begins next week. Greg Fox brings us a preview of Nickelodeon Arcade. We're up. Over the couple weeks. There we are. Good, good. Straight from the Nickelodeon cauldron of creative craziness comes a comedy of video calamity. Nickelodeon Arcade. Get the coin. All right. Good move. Kid contestants are placed inside a video game with the help of TV technology. They run, jump, and climb, hoping to avoid disaster. They're at it, but hit the button. It's so much harder, you know, you look at it and it seems so easy, but it's very challenging. You know, what makes this show different, I mean, really different from anything else you see right now at Nickelodeon, is that it's the first to be created, tested, and produced right here in Central Florida. I hope this proves that we can start a show here from beginning to end. It can be groundbreaking and all take place here. Among the local techs and talent, former comedian and host Phil Moore. He's a champion, yeah. If I weren't doing the show, I'd be home watching it going, duck down, duck down, as everybody does it. How many times did you watch Wheel of Fortune and one? It's bare, you idiot, it's bare. Well, see, I get to do that. <laughs> They'll be doing it for real, shooting 42 episodes of Nick Arcade beginning next week. Laser bot. Oh, got him right in the head. Okay, everything is frozen. I would hustle if I were you, Bob. Greg Fox, Florida's 2 News, Orlando. I think we should point out that was two news photographer Bob Murdoch getting shot in the head with that laser there. <laughs> Shooting for Nickelodeon Arcade begins November 16th, runs through Thanksgiving. Contestants and audience members will be selected from visitors to Universal Studios. Sounds like a hoot. Can you play if you're over 30? That's what I want to know. Let's check in right now with Donna Morehouse. WCPX-TV Orlando. Imagine getting paid to act and think like a child. It's happening every day at Orlando's Nickelodeon Studios. In tonight's entertainment report, Pat Michaels caught up with the childlike brains of the network. Who invented this slime anyway? Well, chalk it up to Slick Nick producers. They play games with kids, they trade ideas, they even think like kids. These monitors here in the control room say Nick is kids. It's probably not referring to the youngsters who star in these shows, but more likely the big youngsters who put these shows together. Meet James Bethea, the producer of the new Nick Arcade video game, one that puts kids inside the game. Where do these rather childlike ideas come from? From everywhere, nightmares, dreams. <laughs> but it's really, um, yeah, it's the kid in you that, that makes all this stuff come out. What, as a kid, would you really love to see? Well, it would be great if I can go inside a video game. Nick Arcade is just one of a half dozen kid shows here at Nickelodeon. And it takes a special kind of grown-up to produce shows kids will like. What were you like as a kid? Um, they probably said it was an odd kid if you'd ask me, but I thought it was kind of, you know, it was an average. I'm probably a, a stranger adult than I than I was a kid. <laughs> Our senior vice president, Jeffrey Darby, is a big kid at heart, and it kind of all filters down. You can knock on any office and go in and find a kid mm -hmm. uh, who's making TV. With the world of entertainment, I'm Pat Michaels, Newsnight 6. Coming up on Newsnight 6, we'll tell... WCPX-TV Orlando. Michelle Morrow with tonight's news. Meteorologist Pamela Kister. And Mike Storms with sports. This is News Night 6. And now, video buffs, we have that story from Pat Michaels about one of the coolest video games around. Cut him in the head. All right, now, get over there fast and hit that circuit breaker. All right, now hurry up and get the one It's one thing for a kid to be able to play a video game, but to star in it? Whoa. It's called Nick Arcade, the latest from the kid-minded producers at Nickelodeon. The whole concept took 16 months to put together. The computer programming, the sets, and the show are all done here. It's, it's just like any other video game you might be used to playing at the arcade or at home, except you're in there. It's, it's now, now you're on the line, and, and it's you against uh, the computer from the inside. And the object is? The object is uh, for each player on the team to go through one, la one round individually in order, and then for both players to run in uh, and take on the video game wizard. Actually, the game is uh, pretty physical. You have to go up steps, and uh, you have to reach for the different items that you see on the video screen. All right, Danielle and Pat Michaels. All right, he's so I gave it a shot. Behind you is nothing but a blue set, so you have to watch yourself playing the game on screens. You have to know where to reach and how to climb. I was like... 
<laughs> after Alien Moon Base. We're doing it on television in front of a bunch of people. I mean, that makes oh, a difference. Oh, no, you feel really stupid. <laughs> Nickelodeon Studios is producing 42 episodes of Nick Arcade through December in front of a live audience. The show will start airing in January. With entertainment, I'm Pat Michaels, Newsnight 6. Now, see, didn't I tell you that looked like fun? Pat didn't tell us the score, though. No, he didn't, did he? WFTV Orlando, live from Channel 9, Central Florida's news leader, Bob Opsall, Barbara West, and Steve Jerry's weather. This is Eyewitness News, live at 5. It is not surprising that the television network for kids has finally come up with a way to put kids inside a video game. Our entertainment editor, Bird Bullock, has more on the new game show, Nickelodeon Arcade. Leave it to the folks at Nickelodeon to bring the excitement of today's video games and latest in television technology to a new game show. Starting later this month, production will begin on Nick Arcade, where the players on the screen interact with a computer-generated environment. Orlando comedian Phil Moore is the show's host. Um, my responsibility, I keep everything going smoothly so everybody sits back and go, Huh, this is getting kind of dull. No, uh, part of the show, the upfront part of the show is like a quiz game. Um, there's another segment of the show in which there are strategies that are involved, and I'm to let them know what to do and keep things going and, and keep everybody up to date as to where everyone is. But then there's the actual game itself. It's not as easy as it looks because the game players are actually running a course that is totally colored blue. It's only by watching overhead TV monitors and listening to Phil's guidance that one can make it through to victory. Were there some logistical nightmares in pulling this off? There are trem um, tremendous nightmares, but not things you can't plan for. The whole key to the show is planning. There are so many elements in the show mm -hmm. that without everyone that we have on our team working um, and planning things out in advance, it, it would kind of fall apart. All right, the object of this game is to um, trigger all three of the circuit breakers okay. in the alien moon base before it blows up. Okay. Okay, that's Being a kid at heart, I had to go at one of the games, alien moon base, and here's what happened. And he just managed to hit the first circuit breaker. He hit the button with his head. All right, let's shoot the old noggin, Bert. He's making it across the lightning bridge. It's firing out of, oh, in the back. That hurts. Big arcade, a challenge to the mind and the body. And there's only one place you'd expect such a test of endurance with fun could be found. And that's at Nickelodeon. Bird Bullock, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. He ought to be expert at that with his practice as a weatherman, too. I would sure think so, yeah. Looking sure. into the chroma key screen. And... Mm -hmm. Well, that is live at 5, but stay with us for much.